Shadan Farasat, the word blasphemy is used as if it's going going out of fashion. Anything you say is potentially blasphemous. I may be a Hindu saying something against a Muslim that is blasphemous, or vice versa. Online debate is it's it's descended to a level where it's childish now. Because if you say blasphemy, the implications are huge. It's like blasphemy in the present context is what the word sedition was used in the recent past in other debates. Blasphemy, the word is replaced sedition. See, you are right, uh, Vishnu. I agree. In a, uh, as a constitutional position, of course, our, uh, Section 295A is a small exception carved out, which is that if you are effectively saying something which is of such a serious nature against uh, the gods of a particular religion in a multicultural society that we live in, and it, it doesn't matter who is the speaker, which religion, then you can be prosecuted. Of course, it's meant for situations which are or speech which is of extreme variety. It can't be of a speech which is critical. Right. You can genuinely critique any religion, any god, any practice. There's no problem. So I think that distinction must be made. Unfortunately, what has happened is that in the last many years, we have developed a culture of hate. Right. The government in India has done nothing about it. It has either indirectly or directly supported it. They got called out on this particular instance for whatever reason, maybe that video went viral by a whole host of governments from across the world. And they didn't know what to respond. What the government of India has been doing is they have been playing Gandhi abroad and Godse in India. Effectively, right. that's what has been happening. The two faces. Now, those two faces were called out by the governments all over the world. Now, therefore, they didn't know what to do. And it took them 10 days to register a FIR in such an extreme case against against Rupur. It should have been done immediately under 295A. That's a clear case of 295A violation, right? Now, there can be a whole range of speech which are critical, which are of a religion. I'm not on which religion. You can critique Islam, you can critique Hinduism, you can critique Christianity. All religions must be critiqued. That's a fundamental principle and must be critiqued vociferously. But the point is it can't be abusive. That's when 295A comes in, right? Now, they took 10, 12 days and now when they are registering FIR, they are trying to do fake balancing like Mr. Gonzalez said, like the Delhi riots case. Delhi police, for me, has ceased to be a professional police force. They act like completely at the behest of politicians. It's be also careful, that could be also construed as a blasphemous statement. <laughs> well, I mean, against the Delhi police, I don't care about blasphemy against Delhi police. I mean, we, we commit that in law uh, as lawyers. Every okay, day let me, let me, so go, let me go across. 